lower of the internet, it's bear here. It is Thursday morning, October 13th, and tonight is my opening night for my play, Bang Bang, You're Dead. So, it's a theater vlog, I guess you could say, even though theater is on stage and this on the internet. <laughs> Hey everybody, so um, you think I'm just sitting here and I haven't gone to school? I mean, work, because I work at the school. That is not the case. It is almost four o'clock. I did work, I did some studying, nothing that I'd want to film. But now I'm going to dinner. I'm gonna meet my grandparents there because they're in town for my play. And then I gotta go to my class, which I'm gonna have to leave halfway through to get there on time for call. It's gonna be my play, Bang Bang Your Day, what I've been talking about for like two months now on these vlogs. Now, unfortunately, y'all, I can't, legally, I'm not allowed to film it, but maybe I'll show you my costume in the dressing room and yeah, some reactions. Some people were here last night for the newspaper. Apparently, we're gonna be in the newspaper tomorrow and Saturday and, uh, they said we were believable, which is a good thing. You see, you don't want to come off as totally fake. It's a very serious issue about school shootings, and uh, you want to actually have it mean something, not just, all right, here I am, all right, I'm going to shoot you, you know. It has to mean something, and I guess we did that fairly well. So, yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Hey everybody, so I just got here where we're gonna have dinner. Pomodoro's, a nice Italian joint. But apparently I'm the first one here, so I'm gonna wait a while. So my mom just got here, she's gonna go to, over to the Publix for a second. And my grandparents are in Ocala. They went a weird way, not on the highway, and they got. They said they got too many uh, traffic lights. Got stuck in too many traffic lights. <laughs> they landed about four hours ago, but uh, they'll be here in time for the play. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we got some bread we're nibbling on. Really nice joint. Still waiting. Yeah, so I took a few bites. Where are you now? It's my spaghetti. My mom still has an order. Of Gainesville. We're waiting on my grandparents. The city limits really of Gainesville? <laughs> so yeah, my grandparents got here. Here's Mama John. Here's Wes. <laughs> My mom, she's here already. Well, mom, what did you get? Eggplant parmesan. Yeah, nice looking. Wes, what did you get? Same thing you got. <laughs> and that's the way you order it. again. But same thing you got. So now, uh, Mama John, uh, I got Alfredo spaghetti. And what do you call this one? Marinara. Marinara. <laughs> I like my split. Yeah, you had to order it that way. Yes. Mm, so I just got out from dinner. My grandparents and my mom are still in there eating. And uh, going to class, and which I'm gonna leave early because I have to for to get ready for the show. I'm going to my show. Hopefully no polar bears will show up in the middle of the show. Hey everybody, so yeah, I'm here in my dressing room. And I'm about to get dressed. Here's my costume I'm about to put on. Got some jeans, a jacket, I'm playing a bully. A nice shirt, my clothes from Forever 21. Doesn't bother me. And uh, I'm gonna show you all something pretty cool. When I die, yes, I die in this play. I'm actually dead the whole time, but in the flashback scene where I die, I pull this 
red ribbon out of my pocket to show blood coming out of me when I get shot. Yeah, it's really cool. Nobody oh, else somewhere else. People are in the makeup room. We got about 30 minutes to the house is gonna open. And an hour to the show starts. My grandparents they went to their hotel. They're gonna be coming back. Hopefully they'll make it in time. Yeah. I'm gonna get dressed now. Now before I got dre get dressed, I'm gonna show y'all something cool. So I got these buttons on the back of my shirt. And I've got these buttons on the back of my pants. And if you're wondering what they're for, they are to be connected. So nobody can see my underwear or my butt showing because the first few nights of rehearsal that apparently happened. Hey everybody. So got my costume on. We already did our sound check. Yeah, that's me, the bully, Michael. I've got a microphone. It's microphone number three plus three plus three, as I call it. As in number nine, but that would be too boring if I just said nine. And I got it going down my shirt. And on my other pocket, see I got my mic down here. My other pocket, it's got a flashlight. If you want to know what happened, why I would use this flashlight, come see it. Why not? It's not like it's expensive. It, like, this is like half price of what the community theater would offer, y'all. Come see it. A director told me with this look, um, I'd be Charlie Brown next time he does that play. That was when I didn't have the jacket on. <laughs> so, um, hey, y'all. So, I can't film the show for you because uh, that's illegal. Ten minutes? house open everyone 10 minutes to house open thank you okay 10 minutes to the house gonna open 40 minutes to show but i thought i could show you all the monitors so you can see the set monitor from the guy's dressing room it's a jail cell if you can see that at all i was walking up there so this is dalton what's up he is playing the shadow which is the voice inside of josh's Hey, that's Grant, who plays Josh, prisoner, murderer. So, oh, around psychopath. So, yeah, so Dalton, why should everyone come see this play? Because this show... Isn't bad. Isn't bad. That's a great start. I know it, you know it, everybody knows it. Those are my sources. Uh, the thing is, is that it honestly, it's, it's, a sh you know, it's a show that really... It talks about controversial issues such as school shootings and stuff, things that are very big in our culture and our society right now that need to be talked about and brought up more uh, and stirred up with controversy to get people to realize that it's a very serious thing and how in depth it goes and it's not just about oh there's a monster that really that went and killed all of these people it's more about the fact that <coughs> what drove them to that point uh, the bullying that goes into it the depression the, the anxiety all of the things that cause it uh, it's a lot more gray than black and white that the news and the media makes it seem to be uh and it's just a very important subject that i think as a society we need to talk about more good so. and will it be more worth everyone's while than gator growl tomorrow night actually yes to feed your soul come to the theater get some fine arts get some topics to talk about you can talk about this forever you know like you can go and talk to anybody about school shootings and how it's a big thing and a big deal in society and somebody will always have something to say about it and you can cause that kind of uh talk and that kind of um conversation but not everybody goes to gator growl not everybody even knows what gator growl is and gator growl some years isn't so hot and i am a big gator fan and i grew up in gainesville so that says a lot but you know theater is always something you can talk about and one last question. If somebody is thinking about killing somebody else, would mm -hmm. you recommend they see this play? Yes. And a psychotherapist. Yes. Thank you. So we got 10 minutes till the top of the show. And I'm going to show you all something. What I am going to show you all is... Ooh, the lights cool back here. 
This is the stage left door. This is the door I will be entering into in 10 minutes to start the show. Cool. 90 minutes later. I really am getting my SpongeBob on. Anyway, the show just ended. I just got changed. I think we did the best run we ever did, except for the one part I screwed up but went with it. I think it's the best we did. Uh, I think we really got to the audience. Uh, let them portray a message to them, which what this was for. We had a panel that was nice with all the, some of the staff members coming out and saying the resources we have on campus for um, people who um, are struggling with problems and may just happen to want to kill themselves. Or That was good. Well, that's our show. We got the first one done. I really wish we could do like two or three weeks of this, but it's only three nights. But uh, if you haven't seen it, come see it. Saturday and Sunday, y'all, 7.30, Santa Fe College Fine Arts Hall. You will not regret it. It's just really, really good. And I pushed somebody on the ground. Doesn't everybody want to see me push somebody? Yeah? Yeah? All right. Yeah. So we're about to leave, and my grandma forgot her purse. Hey. Yeah. And it was not in the fall, the fine arts hall, the auditorium. I'm gonna check the restroom. I'm gonna go in the women's restroom. <laughs> Nowhere in the women's bathroom. I keep looking. So thankfully, someone found it and brought it back. One of the cleaners or somebody. Oh, well, that's good. Thank you for whoever did that. I don't know who did, but thank you. Yeah. Hey, so everybody, I'm about to go to bed. Before I go, I just wanna talk a little bit. Tonight was amazing. It was really incredible. Not just because I thought we put on a great piece of theater, but I feel like we're really doing something. I can't speak for the whole cast, but I certainly felt like this was more than just acting in a play. We had the opportunity to save lives, which um, I don't, I've never done that before. But um, I just think there could be somebody, whether they want to admit it or not, in the audience thinking about killing themselves or killing other people. If, if we made one person not want to do that, it just means the world to me. If we make one person stop being a bully, it's just incredible to me that we're actually doing good in the community, not just putting on great theater, which I love putting on great theater. It's my passion. I'm a theater major. I'm going to have a career in theater. But it just completely means something on another level when we're talking about saving lives yeah. it just means a lot to me tonight was very special and I want to keep doing that for the next two nights so come out and see it y'all anyway I'm just a bit living a crazy life